The Walking Dead comic versus the TV show. On this episode, we're going to be talking about that badass pirate known as the Governor. We're finally going to find out whether that character is better on a TV show or a comic. Right off the bat, I gotta say, the governor was a completely different character on the TV show than he was on the comic. In the comic, the governor was more like, he was a dickhead that was hell-bent on ruining everybody's fucking life. I mean, in the comic, he is literally a dickhead. He is just like a, he's a rapey guy that has no good qualities at all. So for the TV show, I was expecting that same quality character to come in, just be a complete asshole. But no. They get some little house on the prairie looking motherfucker to come walking on in. On the TV show, Andrew and Michonne, they get taken by force into Woodbury. And apparently the governor walks in and guess what? That motherfucker's nice. I'm not kidding. He's like, hey, you want some donuts? Hey, you want a back rub? Hey, you want my dick? I mean, sure, yeah. I knew he was going to turn to a fucking psychopath. But for a while, you're like, wait a this guy's not that bad, what's going on? I hope him and Andrea have a good relationship. Fuck that. Even when it showed Penny, you weren't like, oh man, this guy's fucking crazy, he's a fucking lunatic. No, you actually feel sorry for the guy. On the TV show, the governor, man, he's a smooth talker. He starts banging Andrea. By the way, that bitch has got a nice ass. Her ass ain't that good in a comic, we gonna mock that win for the TV show. Right there. Good for you, Mr. Governor. Finally, Rick's group comes in. They break in and Michonne kills Penny and shit. And then the governor, then he loses it. Then he goes to the comic style. Goes fucking ape shit crazy and start fucking doodle chopping and shooting bitches. And in the comic, he's already that fucking psychopath. So on the TV show, we have this whole transformation. We gotta see, okay, he's decent. And then BAM! Flip that switch, baby. Full on fucking crazy. I have to go with the depth in this one. I'm giving a win to the TV show when it comes to the governor's personality. Now the governor does a lot of shitty shit in the comic and the TV show. But in the comic, he takes her shoulder and he rapes her. And that is much, 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 much worse than anything he did on the TV show. And to be honest with you, I can actually see why. They didn't even do that on the TV show. See, on the show, Merle catchers Glenn and Maggie. She gets locked in a room with the governor, and he's like, Hey, baby, take that shirt off. And you're thinking, oh, man, this is going to be it. Oh, it's about to get fucking sick up in this piece. But then before he does the deed, he sends her away. Fucking mind games, man. But wait a minute, she took her shirt off, right? So you're telling me the governor got to see Lauren Cohen topless, huh? Get on with your bad self, governor. Yes, yeah, see, in the comic, the governor goes and chops off Tyrese's head, while on the TV show, he does that shit to Herschel. So those two kind of cancel each other at the kind of the same thing, because at the time, in the comic, you really cared about Tyrese, and on the show, oh man, you really cared about Herschel. And if you didn't, you're an asshole. But in the comic, the governor also killed Herschel anyway. So either way you look at it, Herschel dies via the governor. So overall, when you look at it, when it comes to which actions are worse, the comic completely destroys the TV show in, in the aspect of, oh, this guy's a terrible motherfucker. He's a bad guy. So I'm giving the edge to the comic. The governor looks 120 fucking percent sleazeball in the comic. He looks greasy and super fucking nasty. He's also got that long black hair. Which adds to that greasiness, cause I mean, come on, it's the apocalypse, you know he ain't properly washing that shit. Meanwhile, on the TV show, that motherfucker's looking classy. His hair's all nicely done, he's looking total blue collar. He looks like a normal dude. So on the TV show, he looks like a normal guy, while in the comic, this guy looks fucking nuts crazy. I'm talking big nuts crazy. But the thing is, they both match their characters perfect, I mean, on the comic, they... The dude, he looks crazy, he is crazy, he's already a fucking psychopath. While in the TV show, he's looking all normal blue collar, and that's how he's, he's a smooth talker. He suckers people in with that hair. Oh, and that chin. Oh. You know, it's really hard to pick a winner when it comes down to which character looked better for the TV show or the comic, but... Uh, oh, God. I mean, they both look good for each one. I, I'm gonna have to give it a tie. I know that's the worst thing in the world. But I gotta give it a tie. Don't hate me. Don't you dare. 
Now this is an easy choice for me, to be honest with you. In the comic, I was severely let down by the death of this huge bad guy character. They gave the kill to Lily, who was pretty much a random character at the time. She had her moments, but she was not even close enough to be big enough to get this kill. The governor ordered Lily to kill Lori, and Lily gunned that bitch down. She had no problem killing Lori, but then she saw little baby Judith got killed too. She's like, oh, hold up, that's enough. I've had too many dead babies on my hands. So she came up, shot the governor back in the head, boom, <laughs> kicked his ass right into the zombies. And that was the end of that. Okay, it looked good, but in the end, you know, you know, Michonne was the one that should have got that kill, not Lily. Now his death on the TV show, he didn't fuck with Michonne nearly as bad as he did in the comic. And yet, she was the one who stabbed him through the chest with her sword. Oh yeah, seems like they were trying to make up for a mistake if you ask me. And though Michonne got that sword stab on the governor, it wasn't her that got the final blow that took him down. It came from a different kind of Lily that the governor started hooking up with after Woodbury. Now there's a whole little storyline where this Lily is kind of the same as the one from the comic, but they mix a couple characters and it gets all fucking complicated and shit. Bottom line, she walked up to the governor, took a gun because he ruined her fucking life, ruined everything she knew, put it to his head, pulled that trigger. His death on the TV show felt a hell of a lot better than it did in the comic when the random Lily came in and fucking shot him in the back of the head. So like I said, I felt this is super easy for me. I felt the comic death of the governor was just, it wasn't as satisfying. I mean, Lily turned out to be a decent character and all, but damn, son, he didn't do nothing for the stiffy. Meanwhile, that TV show got me rock hard, so the show gets a big win when it comes to the governor's death. So in the end, I know I may catch a lot of flat, but I actually liked the TV show version of the governor a little bit better than the comic. He was more methodical. He was a hell of a lot more intelligent. And he just made for a more realistic and interesting bad guy. Just being honest, bitches. Meanwhile, the comic book governor was just that. He was a comic book villain. He was a tad over the top at times, not gonna lie. Now don't get me wrong. I like both characters, okay? I don't dislike the comic book governor, but the TV show, in my opinion, gets the edge. You wanna challenge me? I just wish on the TV show, he would have chopped Tyrese's fucking head off. Well, that would have been a happy moment instead of a sad one, wouldn't it? Kind of defeats the purpose. 